the inspiration for this envelope was the great U.S. representative from Georgia, John Lewis, who was a great civil rights activist. And what he said is my inspiration, my mantra, which is get in good trouble, necessary trouble, and help redeem the soul, the soul of America. In these times, I think that's a very important message. An another inspiration for me is the, uh, the art of the great George O'Keefe. Uh, my wife and I, in fact, just went to, to the Phantom Ranch last November. And uh, what she said, to create one's world in any of the arts takes courage. And I, I think that's so true for, for artists. So I wanted to, uh, I wanted to do an envelope honoring her and her work and her courage. A great uh, American theologian is Reinhold Niebuhr. And again, what he said is so true for our times. Frantic orthodoxy is never rooted in faith, but in doubt. Think about that. I think the envelope that, and the message that means the most to me is this one that commemorates Bertolt Brecht, who was a German and then became an American playwright. And he said, do not rejoice in his defeat, you men, for though the world has stood up and stopped the bastard, the bitch that bore him is in heat again. And he was talking about Hitler, but again, with the rise of this appetite for a more authoritarian government around the world, what he said is as much in play today as it was when he said it in the 1950s. Like Bertolt Brecht, Elie Wiesel was a survivor of the Holocaust and uh, was also someone that went after Nazi war criminals after, after the war. And what he said was, no human race is superior, no religious faith is inferior. All collective judgments are wrong, only racists make them. So this is another, it's one of my larger uh, envelopes and uh, I, I, I really like the way the, the sinewy approach I took brought out his face.